3-day full body dumbbell workout. Please like, share, comment and subscribes this video. The following workout is designed for those who only have access to a set of dumbbells. It's perfect for those who work out at home, travel and are on the road a lot, or beginners who are new to weightlifting. It can be performed as a complete workout program for up to 8 weeks. At that point you may want to consider increasing the volume of the workouts or change up your routine to include more of a variety of equipment. This program calls for you to work out three times a week. Since these workouts are full body workouts, it is best to have a rest day in between your workout days. For example, you could perform this program on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This will give your body enough rest to recover in between workouts. Be sure to track your rest periods during your workouts. The rest time in between sets for this program should be between 30 to 60 seconds. Feel free to add cardio and ab specific training as you see fit. I'd recommend HIIT after your workouts on your workout days and a lower intensity form of cardio on your off recovery days. If you have any questions about this program, please feel free to ask in the comments section below. After you've finished this workout program, move on to this 4-day dumbbell only workout program. Dumbbell squat instructions set up for the dumbbell squat by choosing a pair of dumbbells and holding them down by your sides. Stand with a slight bend in your knees and your feet around shoulder width apart. Keep your head up and your back straight. This is the starting position. Keeping your eyes facing forward slowly lower your body down. Don't lean forward as you come down. Your buttocks should come out and drop straight down. Squat down as far as possible or at least until your thighs are parallel with the floor and then slowly raise your body back up by pushing through your heels. Do not lock the knees out when you stand up and then repeat the movement. Exercise tips. It's crucially important that you keep a straight back when you squat. You can ensure your back is straight by keeping your eyes facing forward, chest out, shoulder blades back, and back arched. Keep your core muscles tensed throughout the movement to help hold your back in place. Always push up through your heels. Curling up your toes can help you get the technique right. Never lean forward. This happens when your hips move up faster than your shoulders. To prevent this keep the rep timing slow and controlled and stick your buttocks out as you go down. When you squat down, your hips should be dropping straight down, not coming forward. Using a light weight, perfect your form standing side onto a mirror. Your knees should never track out and over your toes. Using squats to their full potential requires squatting down at least until your thighs are around parallel to the floor. Don't point your knees in or out when you're lowering or pushing the weight. This puts unnecessary strain on the knee joints. Never look down. As soon as you look down your back rounds, simple as that. Dumbbell Stiff Leg Deadlift Instructions Set up for the Dumbbell Stiff Leg Deadlift by choosing a pair of dumbbells and holding them down at your sides. Stand up straight with a slight bend in your knees and your feet around shoulder width apart. This is your starting position. Keep your back as straight as possible and bend over at the waist lowering the dumbbells over the tops of you feet. Your knees should be kept stationary during the movement. Focus on the stretch in your hamstrings, and continue to lower the dumbbells down as far as your hamstrings will let you comfortably. Now engage the hamstrings and begin to raise the dumbbells straight back up. Your eyes should be facing up and your shoulders back. This will prevent your lower back from rounding. Squeeze up through the glutes and hamstrings until you're standing straight up. Repeat for desired reps. Exercise tips, you must keep your eyes looking up at all times. As soon as you look down at the floor your back will round. The dumbbells need to stay close to your body throughout the set. The further the dumbbells are from your body the more strain is on your lower back. Focus on stretching the hamstrings out as you lower the dumbbells and contracting them as you raise back up. The greater the mind-muscle connection the more you'll get out of this exercise. It's best to have your knees slightly bent during the set but fixed i.e., bend them slightly but keep them locked in the same place throughout the set. During the descent, to protect your lower back, keep your weight back on the heels. Do not let your weight shift forward onto the toes. If you find the your weight on the toes when at the bottom position of the exercise, you are performing it incorrectly. Do not relax at the bottom of the movement. 
Keep your legs, back and abdominals tight as you begin the ascent. Keep the rep timing slow and control the weight, especially when lowering. Remember the focus is on stretch and contraction. One of the biggest mistakes people make when performing this exercise is bending over at the waist without moving the hips back. Instead of being supported by the large hamstring muscles, the weight is now placed almost entirely on the lower spine. Needless to say, this puts your back at great risk for injury. If you keep the weight close to your body your hips with naturally move back. Technique is so important with this exercise. If you're just starting out, stand with your side to a mirror with a very light weight and practice the movement. Once you get the technique nailed you'll be able to move up in weight and start building some killer hams and glutes. Bent over dumbbell row overview The dumbbell row is a variation of the bent over row and an exercise used to build back muscle and strength. The back is a muscle group that requires a fair amount of variation. So, experiment with several different angles and hand positions to maximize your back muscle growth. Rows are a foundational movement pattern and are very important to train for balanced muscle growth and strength. So, experiment until you find a rowing variation that you enjoy and work on it. The dumbbell row can be performed during your back workouts, upper body workouts, pull workouts, and full body workouts. Bent over dumbbell row instructions assume a standing position while holding a dumbbell in each hand with a neutral grip. Hinge forward until your torso is roughly parallel with the floor or slightly above and then begin the movement by driving the elbows behind the body while retracting the shoulder blades. Pull the dumbbells towards your body until the elbows are at or just past the midline and then slowly lower the dumbbells back to the starting position under control. Repeat for the desired number of repetitions. Bent over dumbbell row tips experiment with head position and see which option looking forward versus packing the neck works better for you. Keep some tone through your abdominals as you pull the dumbbells into your body to ensure you don't arch excessively through your spine. Don't allow momentum to dictate the movement, control the dumbbells throughout the entirety of each rep. If you feel your biceps being overused and your back remaining under active, consider utilizing a false grip i.e. don't wrap the thumb around the dumbbell. Don't allow the head to jut forward as you pull. Similarly, ensure the shoulder blade moves on the rib cage. Don't lock the shoulder blade down and just move through the glenohumeral joint. Please like, share, comment and subscribes this video. Thanks for watching my video.